Hi guys, I'm Dr. Chitra Bhargat and welcome to the channel Learn Sanskrit. Today's topic is about Rig Veda Sahitya. In the last video, we discussed about Sanskrit literature and we did the survey of Sanskrit literature in general. Today, we are going to talk about Rig Veda Sahitya in detail and it's about its composition or say subject matter. So do watch the video till the end. Thank you. Rig Veda is undoubtedly world's most oldest book and very important out of all the Vedic Sahitas. So let's get started with Ved Sahita or Rig Veda Sahita in detail. Today we are going to talk about the components or subject matter of Rig Veda. Before we start and look deeper into Rig Veda components, we should know that Rig Veda Sahita had five recension as Shakal Shakha, Vashkal Shakha, Ashwalayan Shakha, Shankhayan and Mandukayan Shakha. So these were the five recensions that were there for Rig Veda Sahita. But today we only have Shakal part available. And out of that shakal part available that we can read and we have, we just get to know about the composition or say subject matter of Rig Veda Sahita. Rig Veda Sahita has 10 mandal or books which has 1028 sukta or hymns which are further, which are further divided into verses or ma mantras. Let's get, let's see what are these mandalas and how they are important. Mandala, I'm again saying mandala because in Sanskrit or in Rig Veda we call it, it as mandal but in English we call it as book. So book 1, book 2, book 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Rig Veda is divided into 10 books or mandalas and every book or say mandala from 2nd to 7th has a rishi or sage or a singer who's, who has written the particular book or his ancestors have also contributed in writing those mandal or books. For, before I get into the things, I think I should um, make you understand that how, why is Rig Vedic Sahita so important. Rig Vedic Sahita has all the mantras or verses to worship God or to have uh, to make sacrifices. Let's start. Book two, Krit Samad is a composer of this uh, book two or second mandala. Book three, Vishwamitra is a composer of second mandala. Oh, sorry, third mandala. Book four, Vamadev is a composer of the uh, book four. Five, Atri Sage Atri is a composer of book four five. Book 6, Trishi Bharadwaj is a composer of Book 6 or 6th Mandala, Shasht Mandal. Book 7 or Sapt Mandal book is written by Vashisht. Here, one thing is to be noted when we talk about different Rishis and or say singers or sages, then about, uh, in the composition of these books or mandalas, we should understand that from Book 2 to Book 7, these rishis and their family have contributed in the making of that mandal. That's why from book 2 to book 7, it is called as family book. Now, let's move further. After that comes book 8. That is a Karnal rishi and his ancestral have contributed in the making of this book 8. Likewise, book 1 is also uh, said to have been done by Karnva and his ancestors. Book 8 is by some other rishis or say is a mixed book of uh, composed by the different rishis of other mandalas like Drit Samad, Vishwamitra, Vamadev, Atri, Bharadwaj, Vashisht and Karn. These all have attributed some sutta and verses to make this book of uh, book number 9. And book 10 is also like saying that it has a mixed content developed by all the rishis of above mandalas. So likewise this goes 
and here I have written some numbers. You must be thinking, what are these numbers? These are the number of the times every hind is there. Every hind has particular mantras in it that are attributed to that particular, some particular word, or say at times different word. A book second, a second mandala has 43 hinds. Book third has 62 hinds. Four, 58. Fifth, 87. Sixth, 75. Uh, sorry, uh, 675, 7, 104, and like this, the things goes on. Here, one thing is to be noted that in the book 8, we have a, a Parishisht Bha kinds of a thing, or say appendix kind of a thing, that is Baal Khillisut. There are 11 Baal Khillisut in the book 8. Book 9 is devoted to Somras or God Som. What is Som? Som is actually a juice extracted out of a plant which is devoted to God for sacrifice. And it is said that in that time, Indians as well as the Iranian people used to consume this Somras or Som juice. So the whole ninth mandal or say ninth uh, book is devoted to Som. God Som or Som Ras. Book 10 has a mixed uh, content as the book 10 is actually about the people, about the, uh, it's more different in the term of language used in the 10th as compared to the book 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and uh, 8 because it is said that it it is the latest out of these mandalas or books in the Rig Ved Sahita. It is said that the uh, 10th book is added later on after all the other books were composed. So the time period of book 10 is uh, latest as compared to other books of Rig Veda. Because the language is different, the uh, subject matter is different here. The God that used to be in the other mandals of Rig Veda are also not same. Like in Rig Veda, the other gods, uh, here uh, the human emotions have taken a place of God. Like Manyu, Shraddha, etc. are also treated as a God which was not there in the earlier books of Rig Veda. So likewise we can say that Rig Veda was evolving because it is said that that Rig Veda is not uh, composed in a, uh, a fixed time. It's been an evolving uh, evolution process. It took certain period of time to evolve Vedas or say Rig Veda. So this is about the Rig Veda and this is the composition of Rig Veda. Thank you. Hello guys. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Learn Sanskrit. And if you have any comments, please do share the comments with us in the section below. And do subscribe to the channel.